Hello nerds of the universe, and welcome to Nerd Talk. Today we're talking about a show that has been on my mind since it was announced at the end of Mandalorian Season 2. That show being The Book of Boba Fett. And I think that this show is going to pull off some crazy stunts that could tie in fan favorites from all over the Star Wars universe. One of those being the party-killing, bald-headed, take-a-seat young Skywalker Jedi known as Mace Windu. Okay, so some of you watching right now are very confused. I mean, it's impossible for Mace Windu to appear in the Book of Boba Fett. He was killed in Revenge of the Sith, right? Well, he was. Or was he? You see, recently, there was some evidence to suggest that Mace Windu may still be alive. Samuel Jackson, the actor who played Mace Windu in Star Wars, came out in a video and said that in his mind, Windu was still alive. He claimed that even though his arm was lobbed off and he was shocked by Palpatine's unlimited power, that was apparently not what killed him. What killed him was when he was forced out of the window, I, I mean window, uh, by Anakin and Palpatine. But he argued that Jedi can fall from very great heights and be perfectly fine. Heck, even George Lucas came out and said that he was perfectly fine with that being the case. And Disney, being the penny-pitching, sequel-ruining overlords that they are, would totally resurrect Mace Windu for the merch. But why, you may be wondering, would they do that for the Book of Boba Fett? Why not for the Kenobi series or the Ahsoka series? Those questions we will be answering later in the video. But for now, let's talk about what else we know about the Book of Boba Fett. <clears throat> Nothing. But we can still speculate. One thing that fans, including myself, really want to see is a sort of bounty hunter reunion. I'm talking Dengar, Bosk, IG-88, the whole gang. But what would be even cooler is if they brought some Clone Wars bounty hunters to live action. I'm talking Embo and of course the blue space cowboy himself, Cad Bane. And Cad Bane being in the Book of Boba Fett is actually pretty interesting. You see, if you saw my first video on this channel, you would know that there were some deleted Clone Wars story arcs. Go check out that video, it goes super in far depth. But one of these deleted storylines was the partnership of Cad Bane and a young Boba Fett. Cad Bane gives Boba some tips and tricks in their mission together, but eventually things get heated between the two, and Boba winds up challenging Cad Bane to a duel, with Boba fashioning his new, classic helmet. They both shoot, but Cad Bane is killed, but he didn't miss. His shot hit Boba's helmet, giving it the iconic dent we know and love today. However, this idea was scrapped for two reasons. One, that would absolutely suck. You're telling me that Cad Bane, the best bounty hunter in the galaxy at that time, died in a duel with a child. Like, what an anticlimactic end to a fantastic bounty hunter's journey. And I get that it was supposed to be a sort of passing of the torch from Cad Bane to Boba Fett, but still, Boba is still a child right now, like 15 or 16 years old. The second reason they can't use it, though, is because now that Boba's armor is made out of Beskar because of the Mandalorian, which I have my discrepancies about, but whatever, Cad Bane would not have left a scratch on that helmet. So he could tie in as a possible ally to Boba, and of course Fennec Shan, who we might learn a lot more about in this series, possibly with her involvement in the Bad Batch series. Again, go check out that video. Okay, so this next piece of information comes from a post made by Game Rant that I thought was really interesting idea. In a nutshell, the post said that the book in the Book of Boba Fett could be a book with the list of people Boba has a score to settle with, and he could be taking over Jabba's palace in order to help him cross all of the names in this book off. And I think that that would be a super, super cool idea, because I always thought that the book in the Book of Boba Fett was a weird title, but this theory would make it look so cool. So, great job, Game Rant. Nerd approves. So, if we're going off this theory, who would be on Boba's list? Well, Cad Bane might be on Boba's list because of the rough past that him and Boba share, if they go with that story arc. Boba might also have some beef with some Imperials that might still be alive. Another big hit in this list could be Han Solo, who was responsible for knocking him into the Sarlacc Pit in Return of the Jedi. 
Another one, Cobb Vanth, who was the sheriff wearing Boba's armor to protect his town in Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 1. Boba might have wanted it back, but Cobb wouldn't give it up. And since Cobb Vanth is a pretty good damn fighter and was wearing Beskar armor, he might have had the edge over Boba Fett. But unfortunately for Vanth, the helmet's on the other head now. But the last big name on this list could be the Jedi, Mace Windu. And this is because, in Attack of the Clones, Mace Windu was the one who killed Boba's father, Jango Fett, and he has resented Mace Windu ever since. In the Clone Wars TV series, he actually tries to kill Mace Windu with the help of Aura Sin, who could also return in the series. And they almost succeeded, but Mace Windu and Anakin, who was with him at the time, were both saved by R2-D2, and Boba Fett, a literal child, was put in prison instead of like a rehabilitation place like mace windu was like yeah you know i killed this kid's father and he fell into the wrong crowd of bounty hunters and even though he tried to kill me he didn't want to hurt the other people and he has a good moral compass but you know what as the caring and understanding jedi master that i am i'm gonna just throw him into a max security prison with the republic's most wanted criminals yeah that seems fair and we see from mandalorian season two that Boba is very protective of his father's legacy, and avenging his father would be one of his top priorities right now. This could also be how the Book of Boba Fett ties into The Mandalorian Season 3. If you haven't seen my first video on The Mandalorian Season 3, first of all, go watch it. But second of all, this official concept art of the season does show Boba presenting Grogu to other Mandalorians which could imply that his series will end at the same time as The Mandalorian. And I could see a scenario where, after Luke eventually gives Grogu back to Mando, he is met with Mace Windu, and at the same time, Boba is trying to kill Mace, which could lead to a pretty awkward situation with everyone pointing guns or lightsabers at each, at each other, and Boba and Mando are like that Spider-Man meme. And Mando asks Boba to give up this revenge mission to help him, and eventually Boba and Mace Windu reconcile, etc, etc, you get the picture. But that book of names could also have some names that Fennec Shan wants to cross off, which could connect back to the Bad Batch series. And another thing, we know that Mandalorian will cross over with the Book of Boba Fett, the Ahsoka series, and Rangers of the New Republic, but I don't know if that means those shows will just cross over with Mando, or that they will cross over with Mando and each other. But with that, fellow nerds, this episode of- Wait, wait, wait. What's that? Do you guys hear that? I think I hear- It is! It's another installment of Tiny Talk! Today's Tiny Talk is also about Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Spoilers for episode 1 if you haven't seen it, but not for episode 2 because at the time of recording, I have not watched that episode yet, so let's go! In the first episode, we get this little throwaway line from Lieutenant Torres. Some people, some people, they think that he's in the secret base on the moon, looking down over us. Hmm. Moon. Watching. I wonder who that could be. Of course, I am referring to the Watchers, a group of celestial beings with incredible power that observe different planets of the universe. We saw them briefly in Guardians of the Galaxy, and we saw what many think is Earth Watcher. God, I hope I say this correctly. Uatu? Utatu? Uatu? I'm just gonna say Uatu. The Watcher in the Marvel What If trailer. But if you don't know why Uatu the Watcher is so important, it's because in the comics, he was heavily involved with the Fantastic Four, which is coming to the MCU and could connect to Falcon and the Winter Soldier to the Fantastic Four. But alas, that's all for this episode of Nerd Talk. I hope you enjoyed, and before you go, I, uh, I was, um, very recently walking through the park, and I was having a great time, you know? The birds were singing, it was a beautiful day. But I, I didn't see the crack in the sidewalk right in front of me, and by the time I realized it, it was too late for me. I tripped, fell, I was plummeting towards the ground, and suddenly I was skidding across the pavement, leaving a cut on my right knee. The doctors say that I can only recover if 
if I get the support I need from the YouTube community. And that every like and new subscriber I get is like a stitch on my knee. So if you are willing, good viewer, please like this video. And if you want to give my knee a magic little kiss, hit the subscribe button. And hopefully I'll be able to talk about the Ahsoka series next time on Nerd Talk.